Hi, welcome to the Code Beginners. We are going to learn HTML today in a very short amount of time. What is HTML? HTML is basically a hypertext markup language which is basically used to, you know, make web pages in the browser. I mean, this is no programming language if you compare it with Java, C, C Objective, or C Sharp. Those are programming languages, but HTML is not. You can code HTML in just a simple notepad. Just for that, just go to Windows here and just search for Notepad. Open it up. Just right here, to type HTML. HTML is all about tags. So whatever HTML tags are, you will write all the stuff here in between these HTML tags. HTML has a one tag right here okay you can see that this is basically the opening of the tag and this is basically the closing of tag you will write the name of the tag and then you will write the name of tag again and you will just add a backslash to close that all right so whatever you will do in HTML you will do in these two tags okay let's get started let's write here head let's close this head okay so after that what you will do you will just write the body you will just close the body tag and then you will just start writing your code but first what we will do you will just save this file let's say I want to save this file inside this this is basically a folder okay so I want to save it with the name of index.html okay I saved it now if we go into that folder we'll see and open that you can see that there is nothing in this file because this is just a basic structure that I have uh, written okay so you can see there is written index.html so inside the head if I want to add a title to my page basically the web page I can say so I will write, let's say I write here, good beginners. Now save it, refresh it. You can see that there is good beginners. The title will be appeared here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's see what we can do with HTML. So in HTML, we have, you know, uh, six type of headers. Headers is like heading. I mean you can give heading in HTML on your web page uh, like in six different ways okay so to save time let's just copy paste this this is basically h1 and uh, we sorry that is that was something else on my clipboard and it wasn't copy pasted so let's copy paste this 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 six times okay because we have six headers so I'll just change the ID of the header this is h6 the, the sixth header the small one this is the second last and this is the fourth one basically and uh, this is the third one and uh, this is the second one and this is the second one right so let's say I write here good beginners as my heading whatever you can say whatever you name it what uh, you can write here whatever you want so I just copy paste to save time all right so you can see that if I will save this like here and if I refresh the page you can see code beginners all right the code beginners right here in different sizes in different headers and uh, it is bold right that shows that this is for you know heading or something like that so now let's go ahead and let's see what we can do uh, with paragraph so paragraph tags of HTML are you know like this so P is basically paragraph so whatever you will write inside will be displayed in the form of uh, paragraph so code beginners is a platform where 
you will be learning the programming and building websites apps and much more okay so if we save this now refresh you can see that all the stuff here is appear in the form of a paragraph simple paragraph don't mix it up with headers okay so these six are headers okay and this is basically a paragraph in order to you know you can say hide the confusion I'll display it like this so that is basically something is wrong something is wrong you can see that I have not closed these tags so basically that was the mistake that I've been making and all the stuff was not displayed in the paragraph form so now if we save this now refresh this you can see that we have three different type of headers and I have this as my paragraph okay so moving towards the next point what is our next point is basically uh, you can see add in links to our HTML file we can do that by a tags okay but for that I'll be needing to write here href is equal and I'll be giving here the link of the website or web page where I want my user to redirect to okay so if I write here www dot let's say uh, twitter dot com okay so let's say I want to add another link so just copy paste that in order to save the time just copy paste here and let's say I write here google.com that is my another website that I want my user to redirect to okay save this just refresh this uh, excuse me I am so sorry because I think something ah, I have not uh, written here exactly Twitter and I'll write here Google so now just save this refresh this you can see that we have these two links these are not basically uh, separated to separate them what we do we just uh, you know write here uh, br tag that will give us space in between them and will separate them obviously so you can see that it appears here so if I click on Twitter with a control press then it will redirect me towards Twitter and if I click on Google with a control press then it will redirect me towards google.com so you can see that welcome to Twitter the Twitter site has opened so and after that you can see that Google site has opened okay so that is basically uh, the concept about links so now let's come to the next point now I want to add an image to my web page so what I will do I will just write here the image tag and uh, that is basically a self closing tag so after that I will write SRC that is basically source and what is the source because my image lies in the same folder so I will write just the name of the file like this because you can see that in code beginners that is a folder and that is pakistan.png so I'll just simply write the name of the file because my HTML file does lie in the same folder okay so don't forget that so that will basically give the link to the towards the file and that file or that photo will be linked to my HTML page okay so what we'll do next we'll write alt is equal alt basically gives the title to the image you can say that whatever your image is whatever you will write here that will appear in the top uh, you know on the top of the image okay so let's say right here Pakistan and let's give a width and a height to this image as well so let's write here 50 and let's give it a height of 60 that is basically px pixels so if I'll just save this so I just want to 
add a line breaker here so that will break that uh, and will appear into the next line okay so if i just refresh this you can see that we have a image here due to some technical issue my browser is not showing that image yet but uh, actually my code is you know yes my code is perfect but due to something and some reason my actually my browser is not showing the image right now but if you will write that in your browser then it will go fine and it will definitely show you the image into your browser okay so let's go ahead and uh, see uh, the order list and unorder list okay so what was that basically ul tags will be used for unorder list and uh, close this and uh, if you will come to the list so let's say i want a list of the websites my favorite websites so i'll just uh, write the names of that sites between these li tags so let's just copy paste this okay so what i write here i'll write here let's say face book and uh, let's say Twitter and let's say Google so that will appear in the form of an unordered list on my web page let's go here just refresh this you can see that Facebook Twitter Google that is appear here in an unordered list now what i want is basically i want uh, an ordered list that was an unordered list so i want an ordered list now so to save time i'll just copy paste this stuff here and uh, what i will do i will just change that ul to ol and uh, same with the closing tag and if i'll save this and just refresh this you can see that is in order list so that was the basically introduction to HTML what is HTML and uh, how can you use that to make a web page you have learned that in a very short amount of time so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel